this came in yesterday it's really really what what a bizarre um i just i don't i may even lost for words on how fast i got this uh i was gonna go to the store i'm in new york city i was gonna go to the queen center mall this is one of the only places that had the 512 uh one of the very few place apple stores in new york city that had the 512 version of the 11 pro max and um i saw that they had an option for one day delivery nine dollars within two hours I said, no way. So I actually just paid to see how it worked. And it's really cool. They sent you a link to track the driver and everything, like if you were ordering Uber. I literally got this from the moment I press pay. An hour and about 18 minutes later, there was a gentleman at my door handing me the iPhone. I, I, it's just amazing. I remember when I first started selling and buying on eBay, it could take up to two weeks to either send the product, receive the... If you were selling, it took a week to receive the money. If you were buying, it took a week to send to send the money and then receive the product another week. So it would be two weeks by the time you got your product. To be able to buy something and have it at your door in just over an hour it's just really two first world for me it just really are it, it just really is it's just bizarre to me getting the phone i broke down i was like you know what i was gonna wait for gazelle and everything but i really you know i've gotten more into making more videos and i've always been a picture guy i've always taken a lot of pictures so it's not like it's not gonna go into good use I love the idea that they added the, I believe it's the wide angle uh, lens, which it, it's just really, really great to, tr to use the true lens instead of, you know, di uh, digital enhancement, pinching and zooming in and out to take a picture. You just don't get the same quality as you do when you use the actual lens only. So the three lenses are composed of one ultra wide, one wide and one telephoto. So the more lenses, the better when you're taking pictures. I like the ultra wide version. I believe that that's gonna help me in a lot of the group shots. And that's pretty much why I got it, because of the lens. It's just the pictures and videos that come out of the current phone that I'm using right now, which is the iPhone uh, XS Max. I just they got to make it easier with these names. But the XS Max, just, it's amazing. The quality you can see in the photos and in the picture. Uh, my wife's always commenting on how beautiful it looks. Uh, you could be taking a picture of nothing, and it just looks beautiful. And that's the reason why I ended up getting this phone. No other reason. Uh, you know, pretty much the three lenses compared to two lenses and that's pretty much it i i used to carry around a lot of uh um i'll scan the box at the end so you can see all the information but i used to carry around a point and shoot in my pocket at all times i've been taking pictures my whole life i've taken well over a million pictures and i'm talking about 35 millimeter on my first canon ae1 camera to the iPhones I'm using now. Uh, and I, I've never stopped taking pictures. So I, I definitely am gonna use it. It's not gonna be a, a waste of money or anything. It's an investment. Plus the size is better for me. So I, I don't have to keep emptying it out. I do empty this out uh, usually daily. I use this item. This is the PNY USB 128. Memory, I gotta check to see if they've increased the size. This, I've gone through a few of these where I wasn't satisfied with the ones I had purchased in the, before this one. They just didn't work, the app crashed, whatever it may be. This is, the app is just flawless. The device is flawless. You plug it in, it works. You plug this part into the computer, you transfer the information. It just works very, very well. It's small, light. It had a little clip here and used to go like, you know, be like this, but I took it off. 
So I just carry this in my bag sometimes if I'm going somewhere and I'll use it to offload anything. I'm hoping with the 512 that won't be any uh, issue. Because when I go to locations, I take thousands of pictures. I don't take only a hundred, like a lot of people. I like to get several shots of the same image to make sure that I get the one I like. So anyway, let me open up the box. Nothing in there. And they have the new square, which I honestly do not care whatsoever about the notch. I just care about the lens working well, and that's it. This is a close-up look. And also the reverse wireless. I just want to give you my opinion on the reverse wireless, which is where the phone itself charges other devices for you, like your AirPods. It doesn't make any sense to me at all to use my phone to take battery away from my phone to charge this. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why would I want to even take 1% or half a percent of my phone charge? I'd rather have my phone with as much battery as anything to have to charge this or even give anybody else additional battery. It doesn't make any sense. That's why they make this 4,000 milliamp hour battery and it's a magnetic here, but I usually carry this around very light. I've done a video on this and it can charge my phone a full charge. Why would I, I'd rather hand this to my friend than my phone to take away battery from my phone. It doesn't make any sense to me. This costs, you know, I purchased this on special under $10. So you can have several of these around. You can even give one to your friend if they're having so much problems with charging their phone. But until a phone can hold the charge by itself, with no other, nothing else, no backup, no battery. Until it can have a charge for over two days, reverse charging is just a gimmick. I would never want it. I would turn it off as soon as I got it. I would go in and look to turn off, turn off the uh, reverse charging within the settings. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. The last thing I want is a dead phone because I was trying to be a nice guy. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. So until they, like I said, can have a phone that can last well over two days, I don't need the reverse charging. So I never, I hope that, I always end up buying the uh, phone that had, you know, that's the maximum in size and everything, especially with memory size, which ends up being the most expensive one because the more memory I have, the better. Because I'm a believer of having more than I need than needing any more. So, you know, this is why I got this phone. It feels heavy. Wow. A lot heavier. I don't know. Maybe it's just my imagination. But it feels a lot heavier than my iPhone XS Max. So this is the phone itself. Paperwork. Ah, comes with earbuds. I don't know if the XS Max even came with anything. So this is the... I'll probably give this to my wife. Because I use the wireless. These are the best things ever. And I'm hoping for the old ones to go on sale. Because I don't need the whole fancy new ones. I'm, I'll just buy more of these and have them everywhere. I keep one in my bag. I, keep, I have two of them. I keep one in my bag and one in my uh, office. And... Um, it just, it's, I just love these. I, I don't need the latest and greatest. They work very well when you wear the earbuds to make phone calls or listen to anything. It's like if you had the phone right up on you, right up against your ear. No issues whatsoever. No one ever notices that you're on this thing. Except, no, no one. No one, not even Android users, no. Android users, whenever I use the Bluetooth for my car, they can't hear me. So I, I don't know what that's about. This is a large uh, charger. I'll get more up close. So it's uh, a USB-C charger and it's still using lightning. I wish they went with USB-C. 
uh, all my accessories. I have a lot more USB-C cables because I had the iPhone. I mean, I'm sorry, I had the Android uh, Samsung, uh, what is it, the 9 phone? Uh, I forget the exact name of it. My son's using that phone now. And that's it, it's empty, nothing else. So this is everything that comes inside. Let's do a close up. I'm gonna scan the paperwork and anything else I could so you can get a better close up image of everything I have here. It's gonna be a USB charger. And let me see if I can get a close up of that. Sticks out a lot from the wall, definitely. It's gonna be something if you stick in the wall. It's gonna be. There's a cover on it, which I will be taking off. It's pure white. Okay, and these are the head, the uh, charging cable. This will go into the phone. USB C will go into the charger. Like that. And the cable itself, let me take all this off. It's going to be over 40 inches, three feet, four inches. These are the headphones. I hate wires. I always uh, end up, if they're connected to a laptop, I end up tripping on them. If they're in headphones, I end up putting on my jacket wrong and getting tangled up with the wires. So I'm probably gonna give this to my wife. She's a lot better at using cables. Four feet long. And now we get to take a close up look of the phone, a real close up video look of the phone. I bought the white one. I've always wanted the white one, except for the fact, or they say silver, to me it's white because I used to not get it because it would have the white uh, base area here, the top and the bottom, the lip. So I never liked that. So since now the screens come all in uh, one, you know, it's all black basically. Um, now I like white. I wish I could have bought red, but they didn't have red for the iPhone XS Max. I thought, you know, I love that red color. Okay, that was the top. There's nothing else, right? Yep, that was it. It was just the top cover. I love the look. It looks beautiful. It's a beautiful phone. I was talking, my wife found the other day a bill from her Verizon phone from 1994, 1995. And it was about six, $15. And we used to get, uh, it used to be the old, you know, you push a button phone and uh, giant phone and uh, we get 15 minutes a month free 
we used to get the phone for free. We would get uh, weekends and nights free after 6 p.m. So I used to work nights. I, wor I started work at 4 p.m. So what I would do was uh, not turn on my phone until 6 p.m. and then uh, weekends only. First incoming minute was free. You used to get 15 minutes per month, of, like prime, you know, whatever they called it. 15 minutes a month before 6 p.m. free on the weekdays. Speaker. You saw that, the port. Those look like antennas here. Volume rocker. The uh, mute. I usually send this to mute. I forget. I don't know if they changed it back to what it was originally. You had two options. It's always set on mute for me. Another antenna. Nothing else on top. Another antenna. So these are antennas. They're all over the place. And this is uh, I don't know, the action button or whatever they call it now. This should be the SIM. I'll be switching out my iPhone XS Max SIM. I'm putting it in here. So I see one, two. So make sure you get a good look at that. Three, four. four five so five of these lines six six of these lines so whatever they mean and it's got you know they were talking about it but, you know i don't have a problem i never set my phone down anyway it's either my pocket or on a soft surface i don't like to put it on a hard surface so i guess to each his own and uh i don't have a problem with the uh with the phone camera sticking out not a big deal for me. I, I really just don't care. And I'm also looking forward to using it on the night mode. You know, the way it takes pictures at night, which is what I'm looking forward to. And when I compare it to my iPhone XS Max, it seems to be identical in size, if you look. So this is my iPhone XS Max on top of the iPhone 11. Pro, and I'm holding them together. I can't tell the difference in weight, but they seem exactly the same. So what I'm hoping is, is to modify some of my cases, or um, I have um, this, these uh, stickers. I'll just modify them to add the third lens. So I can, I usually use this because I hate this was black so whenever you laid this down on any hard surface you would get a scratch very easily it drove me nuts so I ended up buying oh skin this is called skin numerous colors different colors so when I get tired of green I switch it out to another color I don't know if this scratch is the same way but I probably will end up doing the same thing adding it I probably won't punch out the iPhone for this one I mean the Apple for this one because of the fact that you can see that the i the Apple phone the Apple the uh, emblem is higher and the iPhone XS Max the green one is the iPhone XS Max than the uh, 11 that's more centralized but they pretty much are the same exact size Compared to two, the Pro has more holes for speakers. So as you can see, it's four to, four to six. Oh, but on the other side, it's, eh, you know, I take that back. I'm just holding them in different way. So are they pretty much match? Yeah, they're pretty much the same. And I even them out. So I had them reverse, so it looked like it was a difference. Uh, this doesn't have the white lines, but it has, oh, it has black ones. I guess because it depends on the back. 
there you can see the black line right there so it's pretty much the same phone as iXS Max I mean it's been upgraded internally and you got the three lenses compared to the two and like I said I'd rather have more lenses the lenses look larger also on the 11 compared to this one this one also stuck out as a matter of fact I believe yeah visually it looks like the iPhone XS Max has the lens sticking out more than the Pro so it's pretty much the same exact thing. I wonder if my case, I have an Apple battery case. Let's try it out, see if it'll even fit. It looks like it will. Of course. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna turn on the phone. I didn't want it to. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Look at that. It blocks out the, it fits perfectly. Yeah, all the cases are probably gonna end up working just fine. Yeah, I don't see a difference. See, it turned it on. So I really don't, I gotta check. Yeah, the buttons look, uh, might be a little bit off, but pretty much. It looks like, all right. This button here on this case, yeah, it matches up. It's a little bit off. This will be the important ones. Yeah, these are. Yeah, a little bit off, but you can, yeah, you can make it work. Yeah. I'm clicking. I'm clicking. Yeah, it fits. So I'll be using this while I'm not using the ultra wide. I wonder if I can cut this out. Smooth it out. It would be great because I need to get this boxed. And that would be great, but I don't know if I want to destroy this $90 case. I have to ask my wife if she'll use it. So that's awesome. So this gives me hope that I can now modify skins that I bought for my iPhone XS Max and use it on my 11 Pro. The battery definitely works. So this is a great thing. When I'm just walking around, I need a camera shot. Okay. Awesome. All right. Like I said, I may have to modify it. I don't care. One of the best cases there is. Love that battery extended case. So shut off should be, I believe you hold the volume up and the action button or whatever that's called. Yep. Let me turn it off. Let me turn it off. This is awesome. I'll try to do a scan of the phone, get more close up. The sides, I won't be able to do a scan. So like I said, I'm doing more of a close up look and everything. And I'll just give you my opinion on the use after using it for a few days. But I'm pretty much gonna probably love it. I don't see why not. I'm gonna put it in here since it has no protection for scratches. And, um, that's pretty much everything that comes inside. I'll scan this. I wonder if it comes with stickers. Nothing else in there. The hello. The pin for taking on this famous stickers. Love these stickers. Here to take out the SIM and switch between the two. So, let me start that procedure. I use uh, my backup software for my iPhone. As you can see, it's, uh, what time is that? 10.40 on October 22nd. So, A quick measurement of the phone I know you get all the specs online and you get an idea of what it is 6.5 and all that but so it's almost three inches wide six 
six and one eighth from top to bottom. So I'll do it from the ones because so that's about a quarter inch thick. So right now I'm gonna do the switching of the sims. And since it's so boring, I'm gonna fast forward. I also wanna mention before I uh, go to that part that the backup software I use is called iAmazing, one of the best software, much better than iTunes, I believe, because I can pick and choose what I'm backing up. iAmazing, I-M-A-Z-I-N-G. I think they have, version, they have versions for Mac and Windows. I even think it comes for the iPhone and Android. But if you're interested in simple, easy to use backups, I would personally recommend, and like I said, it's just my recommendation, I amazing. Or let me just, this is the interface for it. Okay, this is software that comes up for it. And those are my previous backups, as you see, got a bunch of them, it backs up everything. And it's called I amazing. I amazing. I M A Z I N G and up to version two already. And I've been using them for a really, really long time. This is the, the um, this is the website. There's sometimes specials. You can buy them up to for nineteen dollars. You can have you can buy a family where you can have up to uh, five installs. It works really, really well. That's the interface of the actual software it works really well you can pick and choose different options to back up different options you don't want to back up you get real granular and detailed as to what and this is the more of the options you get to back up archive options i'm going to switch the sims and i'll just fast forward this portion Still working. The restoration, uh, well, if it's done right now, which I believe it is, is uh, took about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to do it. So it just restarted as you hear my USB disengage. Starting again, it should be engaging now. As you can see, it's coming up now. Starting and restarting. Okay, it's restored it successfully. Like I said, it took about 20, 25 minutes to finish. This is the charging cable. Let me just measure it. USB-C at one end. And lightning at the other, 41 inches, or a little bit under 41 inches if you want it, not count the tip. The headset, 
is a lightning connection since there's no more audio jack and the link for that is going to be all the way to the tip 49 inches to the controller the head the volume controller and the pause and all that 40 about 44 until it divides three feet I did a close up of this. I don't think I'm getting a snap. It's too blurry. So. Normal headsets. Like I said, lightning. You know, let me try scanning it. Maybe I could get this better at the end and you'll see a clearer picture. Plus, minus. A mic. I think you can see it. All right, I'll scan it. After using my phone for a while, I got to tell you, uh, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, it's been about a week, and I love it. I love it. I think one of the best things, like I said, I'm big. I'm a big photo uh, picture taking. I like to take a lot of pictures. Uh, you know, I, when I go somewhere, I, I'll take hundreds of pictures and uh, go through them and see which ones are good or bad. But the three lenses, the ultra wide, really, really helps in taking that shot that that you can't take because you're at the table. So for example, I was out with friends, we're at a table and I can actually capture all of them without having to move out of my chair. So it's the ultra wide is great. The images are awesome. Everybody complet, compliments the uh, image quality, the videos taken by this, the clarity. Uh, I just love the phone, you know. Uh, I'm not a big technical guy. I just can tell you how I feel personally with the phone itself. There's some work that needs to be done because there seems to be an issue and I've already run into it twice. I did a video on it where the wireless charging stops working. And I have to reboot the phone. I'm hoping that there's some software update that will fix that. So I'm running into that issue. It's only happened twice to me. So, I mean, it, it's a week. So twice is a lot for it to happen. Uh, but I'm hoping that they fix it. But I do love the camera. I really do. And the Bluetooth seems to have a longer range. So either the... Bluetooth strength signal or I, I don't know what it is, but the Bluetooth seems to be working very, very, very well. I really like it. Um, one issue also, but this has nothing to do with the phone that I've been having since they've updated. I think it was the, I, I don't know if it was this one or there was an update on 12 that caused a lot of my Bluetooth devices to act weird. So. There are a few things, um, example, there's a, uh, a device that I use to put Bluetooth on a non-Bluetooth speaker. So it's a small device that I use. I actually run it to my car through the aux port where it allows me to send Bluetooth audio from here to that unit to send audio through the speakers in the car. The problem I'm having is that whenever I put it, connect to that one Bluetooth device, I can't text. I can't bring up the keyboard. The keyboard doesn't work. I can't type. It's really weird. I, I don't know why, but once I disconnect from that device or I turn off Bluetooth, I can now text. So that's something that happened in the software in version tw a later version in 12. But besides that, I got to tell you, I like the phone. I really do. I love the photo quality. Uh, I like the white. It doesn't seem I've been using it without a case. And it doesn't seem to be scratching or anything on the case itself. According to what I read on the internet, there's uh, the Apple battery case that's coming out. Uh, I'm sorry. That there, according to what I read on the internet, there's a bad Apple battery smart case coming out for this phone. And I'm waiting for that because I used, I had it for the iPhone XS Max. Thought it was a gimmick. I bought it. It was used. I bought it from B&H for about $85, $90. 
and I put it on and I fell in love with it. I got, I tested it. I got about 36 hours, 37 hours of battery use from the phone and the actual battery case. It allowed me to play videos, audios, everything with no issues whatsoever. I didn't do gaming, but everything else, 30 something hours, great. With the Without the case, right now I'm getting about 15 hours. I tested it continuously, fully charged and then, it, and then uh, started using it, playing audio books, making sure that I was using it as often, as often as I can to drain the battery. I was shooting video, everything. And it lasted 15 hours straight, which is not too bad. But I like the case because the security of not having to worry about plugging in my phone until the very next day is, is something I really like. Uh, my wife is currently using the iPhone XS Max. I gave it to her and she's using it with the Apple case. And she fell in love. She loves it. She loves it. She forgets to charge her phone all the time. And it doesn't matter anymore because she's always got enough battery. So... I'm waiting for the case to come out for this and I'm gonna buy it and use it. Uh, you know, I like the battery case. Uh, and um, I like the camera, I like the software, I like iOS. Uh, I tried Android, it's not for me, I guess. You know, nothing against Android. I wish it was a third option. Um, but I'm an iOS guy, I just happen to be an iOS guy. I like the way everything's integrated, the messages and everything all talk iMessaging, you know, it's just awesome. You know, you get everything in full quality. The drop share, everything just is built in and it just works. So I like that option. But um, I can't think of anything else. I really, really like it. I'm, you know, I'm very happy. I'm hoping they fix the wireless issue if it continues to happen in, in an update. And um, I'm really happy with the phone. I really, really, really like it. The... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it just works well. I really like it. It's pretty fast. Um, and um, I guess that's all I have to say. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it was informative. At the end, I'll try to show some shots that I take, took some pictures that show the regular lens, medium lens, and ultra wide lens. And um, you'll see for yourself the differences in shots. And it's amazing, the ultra wide. I mean, you can sit... In the corner of a room, you can pretty much get about 70% of the room in the shot. It's pretty cool. Uh, and again, I only bought it because of the camera, because of the third lens. I take a lot of pictures. Uh, everything else just where I would have left the, I would have stayed with the XS Max if they came with the two lens. They came out with a two lens one, I would have stayed with the XS Max. But since they came out with the three lens, the ultra wide, top notch. Remember, with the regular, with the phones before this, you can zoom in, but you can't zoom all the way out. You know, there's only so much you can zoom out. This gives you almost the whole room. So the ultra wide, I really, really, really like it. All right, so I hope you liked the video. I hope it's informative. At the end, like I said, I'll hopefully have some shots and uh, some scanned images of the box and the uh, accessories that come with it and the phone, okay? All right, thank you for watching. Bye.